friends, welcome uh, to the classroom, but also to this daily video devotional. I wanted to talk today about a passage of scripture that you have probably heard on a Saturday, maybe a Friday, at a wedding, in a church, or maybe even outside. And you've heard it before, and it talks about love and, and all that stuff. And sometimes we, we think that it's talking about a romantic love, which I guess there's parts of our romantic relationships, our partnerships, in which we, we want to see some of these qualities lived out, right? Um, love is patient, love is kind, right? But we're looking at a bigger kind of love here in the scripture, one that Paul is reminding the church of. And, and he speaks about what love is, almost as if love is a thing, right? What love is. He's describing this entity of love. And I, I'm often reminded as I read this that what Paul is really describing are the qualities of God who is, well, you guessed it, love. And so let me read it for you here. It says this, love is patient, love is kind. It isn't jealous, it doesn't brag. It isn't arrogant, it isn't rude. It doesn't seek its own advantage. It isn't irritable. It doesn't keep a record of complaints. It isn't happy with injustice, but it is happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things, trusts in all things, hopes for all things, and endures all things. Did you catch that part, though, about love not keeping record of complaints? In other translations, it does not keep record of wrongs, right? Wrongs, complaints, sins, all those things that we do that either hurt someone else or are hurting us or that we hold on to that are hurting us. And, and we, we have a name for that, don't we? We call it sin, right? The way I always like to think about sin is, is the, the things that we do or that others do to us that somehow move us further by our own doing, but move us away from God. That create a, a, a wider gap between us and God. It's not a gap God puts there. It's a, it's a gap that we create through our, our sin. And, and, and when we repent of those sins, when we offer forgiveness for those sins, we find that we come back closer and closer to God. And that's what God wants for us. That's why God is, is consistently reminding us that we are forgiven, that we are loved, that, that through Jesus' love and through the, through the cross, we find forgiveness and grace. And, and something then happens to the sin as we begin to come back closer to God. It's erased. There's no record of it. God doesn't want to keep record of our sins. God wants to help us to heal and move on from our sinfulness. God wants, us to, help, wants to help us seek forgiveness for our sins. Or when there are sins against us, God wants us to be able to offer forgiveness. But God doesn't want to keep record of our sins. But here's what we do. As soon as they're erased, as soon as they're gone... We're quick to remind ourselves of it, right? Because we're, we're, we're taught somewhere along the line that something we've done is so bad that it just can't be erased. And, and here comes God again. Here comes love again. Erasing it. And, and, and as quick as it's erased, we go back. And we write it again and again and again like a kid who has broken the rules in class and writes sentences on the board. But what's remarkable is no matter how often we remind ourselves of it, no matter how many times we remind God of it, God keeps erasing it. That's the beautiful thing about God's love is it really doesn't want to keep track of the things that we do to harm others, to harm ourselves. God wants us to, to move on from those things. Not to forget about them, but to move on from them. And so where we consistently write sin, 
God wants us to adopt this and to write this over and over and over. And in doing that, something remarkable happens. We don't leave room for the sin anymore. Friends, God isn't interested in keeping track of your sins, your wrongdoings, the complaints against you. God, God's not interested in that. Where God wants to bring you is to this point. God wants to bring you to a point where you know that love rules in your life, not sin, not brokenness. Love. Amen.